All right, and we are live. What's up, everybody? Today is March 13th, Monday, March 13th. And today is day 1010. Right, and we are, yeah, that was me. Today is 1010 since it was announced that the treasure chest was found. Isn't that right, Kate? Bro, you're keeping track of the days, right? 1010 days. We need to be patient. Epicness and fun is coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so for as many people that have said, <laughs> just be patient. <laughs> Thousand ten today. <laughs> it depends what you mean by epicness and fun, I guess. That could mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing on this Monday? It warmed up here in Vegas. Hopefully it warmed up uh, where you guys are at. You can get outside and enjoy the sunshine a little bit. Um but yeah, we want to talk about a couple things. I guess the big thing is that somebody shared some pictures of the chest on Discord, and Rudy says, "What are we waiting for? What are we're we going to talk about that at the end? At the we end, have we make some, wait till the we end. We have, um, well, and, and well, we're going to talk about the inside of the chest pictures first because those that are not on Discord, several sent sent me all the reasons why, um, and Mike actually said it, so it just became fact last week. He said he was going to." find those and share those with you all just so you can see them. Um, we will go over um, then. What are we waiting for? I think that's the second step. Okay. So um, <laughs> who's showing what chest? All right, Kiwi. Uh, so we're going to start. So I know a lot of people are probably looking at the thumbnail for this and going, what the heck is that? Isn't that what you said, Capro? What the heck is that? Just yeah, like, I was like, is that the bottom of the what? Uh, 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 what? Here, let me show it for those of you who maybe didn't realize it. Oh, if only I can find it. There it is. So check this out, everybody. That is a lock. I should have pulled the picture of Forrest holding the lock. That's a lock that Forrest owned. That's the bottom of the lock. See, these are legs. That's the lock. That's the clasp that's opened. But the reason I showed it is, and shout out to the person who put this on Hint of Riches. That's where I found it. This shows the numbering uh, or cataloging numbers and letters that Forrest used because there is one of those on the chest. So I just shows this as an example that the things in Forrest Fenn's collection, uh, this is what he used. There we go. So this says OE5. I believe the chest says CE5, but we're going to look at that. We're going to look at the chest. I don't know what these mean. You know, if somebody out there maybe talks to Shiloh, it wouldn't be interesting to know what this uh, numbering and lettering system means. Uh, I'm sure Shiloh would know because he's got the collection or some of it because he puts stuff up in Hinman auctions, et cetera. So if somebody could ask, I think that's a cool question. It's just uh, what does how did Forrest uh, catalog his items in his collection? What does this mean, the O, the E, and the 5 on this particular lock? And what does it mean on the treasure chest, the C, the E, and the 5? And then you can see this is a 16th century Spanish facade style chest lock with linterna style key. So it is proven right there. We just proved it. Boom. That Forrest Fenn did, in fact, put letters and numbers on his collection. So just because there's that on the treasure chest, I think that proves there's nothing there there. It's what he did with everything. What do you think, Kate? Yeah, and he had um, a pretty <laughs> lengthy catalog of um, items that he, I, I didn't know if it's CE5 and then DE5 and then et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, of all of his collection, it was a catalog. An inventory list is how they put it in the probate documents that was sealed. But um, that was how he delineated who got what went. Now, do you think that's what it means is who it goes to, or do you think it's just how he cataloged it? No, I think you know? both. I think the catalog oh. would say OE5, then it would say the lock, and then it probably, this is, I'm saying in my opinion, some people have been giving me a hard time or one, um, that I don't say in my opinion enough. All this is in my opinion, so I'll just say right. in my right. opinion a hundred times, but everything I say is my opinion. Um, not fact, so ish. Somebody said just say ish. Um, so I think it probably had a, a line that said, you know, this goes to Zoe or whoever. Oh, I thought I, I see. I thought you meant the letters meant something like the letter C meant it went to this person. No, I think it's like AAA. A, 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 yeah. A, a, B. It's like a license and, plate. It just goes to the next. And one that's the there. question. I wonder in, I wonder what um, ordering mechanism he used. Why isn't it just zero one, zero two? Why is it C? Because he had a lot of a lot of stuff. 
I got you. Yeah, it would just be. That would only be nine hundred and ninety nine items if he just did let. So he had to put letters in. That's my guess. He didn't want to go to four digits. Yeah, yeah that could be because just think of the Arrowhead collection. I mean, and I don't know if he put each one of these on each Arrowhead, but sorry, I'm outside and. Why don't you show some of our awesome things from that on that table right there? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. It's called... <laughs> see those those are old Coleman lanterns right there that I just haven't got to yet. Okay. Isn't that uh, just so cool? Come and get them. Buy them all, people. Yeah, Golden Key Nuts says, I held the lock. I couldn't open it, and Forrest took it from me and showed me the right way. Yeah, we saw the lock in his vault, too. I have a picture yeah. of it holding the key. That was a pretty cool lock. Um, how do they catalog items from a grid search area in archaeology? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know the answer. Oh, that'll be a Ben question. Wasn't he yeah. an arch archaeology major? If Ben's watching, if that's his real name. Okay, so here is how it looks like on the treasure chest. And I don't know where this picture came from. Um, so okay, right well, let me preface it. Let me preface it for a second. Uh -huh. So I have been participating in Discord. Those of you that are giving me a hard time, get over it. I'm in Discord. We've all come together. Everybody's chatting everywhere. And in the middle of one of the speakeasies, um, we were talking about why we are not seeing the inside of the treasure chest. We've asked potential LLC. We've asked Shiloh. Shiloh said he couldn't. He used the word can't. I can't show you those. Mm -hmm. Um everyone tried every source they had. I asked Cynthia, she said hers were too far back. It would show someone, she can't show it. Nobody could show it. And then randomly, as we're discussing this in Discord, a bunch of pictures were dropped. So these are the pictures. We'll give you more of the backstory later, but these are where those came from. There's about 30 people that get together, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Every Wednesday, they do a fireside chat and you just talk. There's no video, but there's a corresponding chat room where you can type things and you can upload pictures. Okay, go. Okay, hang on. Doing a couple things here, trying to, so I can show this. A little I bit. was in Discord early and then I went away and then now I'm back. For now, you never know. Things can change tomorrow. <laughs> Son of a, hang on, give me a second. Okay, Galaxy's here. This is who, yeah. Okay, and I don't know what the questions are. People are like, is it a second mm -hmm. chest? But I'll just show the things I looked up and you guys can discuss and we can all discuss. Well, and I can tell you, let me preface this a little bit more. Galaxy is the one that emailed me and said, can you please, pretty please even said, um, try to get pictures of it. I don't think there's a there there, but I did because he was so nice and he did not need to say it that way. I would have tried to ask anyway. The more people I ask and the more months that went by that no one had it, then I was like, maybe there is something there. So everything starts with a little idea that turns into some evidence that turns into more that turns into more and then becomes virtual fact ish. Um, like Condor database is a good example. <clears throat> some people said he might be on Reddit. Then some people said this might be the couple of then a little bit more, a little bit more. And now we virtually know ish that it is the case that, you know, Jack was Condor. So anyway, that's all preface to let's get to pictures. Hopefully they're zoomed in enough. Galaxy, I know you're in there. If there's something you want to zoom into, um, just let us know. And Covert One just said the Spanish lock has OE5. That's right. There it is right there. Thank you, Covert One. The chest. Here's one picture of the chest. Get rid of this. Do this. So this one's got CE5, and it's a little bit blocked by this thing. So that's one picture, right? That a lot now of this now the reason that this is important to people mm -hmm. is we have pictures of the chest before it was found uh, or retrieved on June 5th. So we have pre-pictures on Dale's site. We have TTOTC, mm -hmm. et cetera. Some people wanted to see them post um, find to see if wood grains match, et cetera. So this CE5, some people say look a little different than the CE5 in the pre one. I don't know if that's the case, but okay. Sorry, I keep prefacing and I apologize. And I think this is one post find, but you tell me, Capro, this picture right here. Is this, this is one of the ones that was shared in Discord, I believe. Yeah, people started throwing in pictures from both before and after, right. which made it um, difficult if you weren't in chat when it was happening. I don't know is going to be the answer. I'm telling you, I don't know. So here it is, CE5. And right. what's interesting is, does that mean Forrest got this chest? Why did he catalog it if he knew he was going to hide it? In other words, I guess it was just part of his collection. He cataloged it with the CE5, and then he decided, I'm going to give it away. Mm -hmm fill it up and hide it well maybe if there's a raid he has a full inventory of what he has <laughs> you know the little yeah, things <laughs> i think he just cataloged everything right yes. that's why right. i'm not sure if it was who gets what it was just a way to catalog it right it could be both yeah, yeah. Okay. all of those things could so be true. We don't five, i think it matches i don't 
I don't see anything there to say, oh, this is wrong. Because I think when even when the picture was on Dale's site before it was found, we saw the CE, CE5. I know people talked about it. Yeah. Everybody said, what but is if that one of the one of the big things some people had brought up is that CE5 stayed there. But the, the black signature on the bottom left lip of the mm-hmm. inside of the treasure chest somehow disappeared. Well, if one stayed, wouldn't the other one have stayed? I don't know. Depends on the marker I used, I guess. I mean, That's is it. that engraved? I don't think Forrest would engrave his items. Is it just a white felt tip marker? I mean, I guess we don't know. We don't know. It looked like a white marker. So wouldn't it be the black marker? I have no idea. I don't know these things. I don't want to put my opinion in and someone say that I'm stating fact and I need to say I'm wrong all the time. You know, we don't want those things to happen. Well, let me ask you, any of the community out there, this, has anybody bought anything from Forest Fence Collection that has the category, the catalog mark on it so that they can actually yeah. see it themselves? You know, the things in Hinman Auction, I don't know if all those things had, and like, I don't think all the arrowheads had individual identifications on them. But uh, if anybody bought a bronze sculpture, if anybody bought some of the things that Forest Fence owned, I wonder if anybody has the uh, the mark on it. Um, we can go through ours. We probably have, I don't know, five or six items that we can go right. through. But I've never okay. noticed the letters like that. I haven't either. So yeah, we'll have to so, look. Right. Okay. Galaxy says, is there any pictures of the bottom? Um, no, there's not. Um, can you explain the picture of the lock? Mike did that just to confuse everyone. It has nothing to do with the chest. That is a lock we saw. Other uh, Gedelkin said he saw. Or other people mean the saw. lock of the chest or he, sorry. <laughs> Can you explain the picture of the lock? Is it an extra? It has nothing to do with the chest. Mike was just being confused. Yeah, it was a comparison. So you could see how he cataloged his items. Yeah. So here's a picture. And you tell me what it's from, K-Pro. And this is of the supposed signature that is faded away, right? No, that's the one that has it. So that would have been the before picture. But how can you read that? I mean, what does that say? That's why some would like a more... High res picture, which no one's able been able to provide. So well, shouldn't that it, still be there? I don't think it says anything, but I could be wrong. Some people say it says JF on the left. If you really get high res, that's yeah, why I see. I mean, I could kind of see it, but yeah. again, you can't make it out. But the reason it's not there, and now, and the the pictures after it was found, this is gone, right? You don't see anything there. Is that right? And I don't know if I have that or not. I might. Yeah, you've gotten all pre pictures, which we all had. It was the yeah, post yeah. pictures that. Um, were requested and there it is this is the post picture right right i don't know what the n is but uh, no that's a question mark oh question mark i see well one i think logical explanation is it's the lid it's where the lid touches it's going to wear off right could be i mean the ce5 is on the front of the chest where nothing touches it i don't think that lock actually presses all the way into the wood the lid is going to slam down i mean I know you people are going to say, but it just stood in, it was in the wilderness for 10 years, not touched or was it, but um, yeah, I mean, that's just one thing that off the top of my head, well, it's like, and can you zoom in? Off. Is it possible to I zoom in? Cannot, uh, okay. Give me a minute. I will. And the only it's, reason uh, I say that is the reason that galaxy wanted these is not to just compare that little piece is actually to compare wood grains, you know, kind of like the log and what we did for the log people in your wood grains. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, hang on. It's going to be pretty pixelated, though, is the problem. Yeah, as you get bigger, yeah. Can you post the picture and others to the Facebook? Galaxy, Mike is going to post it either to Facebook or Thor. Mike is going to. I tried to download, and it it became an issue. Yeah, downloading stuff off of Discord was not very easy. I don't know what's going on there. Work on it, Ben. Come on. Uh, So you're saying zoom into it? All right, let me see. It, to me, it looks totally different, but I think the light is different. So here, check it out. Yeah, but wood green doesn't change on light. So see how that white line right there, that would be there, like go up. Yeah, like that would be there. And right. go, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm doing the exercise. Unless, I'm saying someone asked me for them, so I am presenting them here. Unless the cracks fill in like the log when it gets cold. Out. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. All right. Sorry. Uh, all right. So that's that one. Do I have a picture we could compare it to? Nope. Okay, check this one out. Boom. And yeah, I think they're there. It's just they're not white because I think the color is different. Yeah, I see the lines. Yeah. 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 So if somebody wanted to compare and contrast those two, I just, uh, why would people think it's a separate, it's a replica chest? Is that there's the two chests because the rest of the other half of the, for whatever reason. Okay. And I, there's lots of theories that you can't get to step two, three, and four until you do one. 
Uh-huh. So step one is comparing it because where's all the jewels? Those are in the second chest. Forrest made a second one because Vanetti knew something, blah, 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 because Forrest said, don't pay any bets when it was said to be in Wyoming because, 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 because. None of that has to do with the second chest. Anyway, well, I guess you could say it could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Golden Key Nuts says Forrest used an accession number, a sequential number assigned to each rec- record or item. And it just went by record or item is it's added to a library collection or database, which indicates the chronological order. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, Tina Ballard says, so where's Jack now? Did he sell the treasure chest? Oh, Tina, I think you've been out of the loop for a little while. <laughs> yes. The auction, the treasure was auctioned off and Jack is on a beach somewhere. We don't know where. No, uh, he's in Tennessee. We know that. Let's keep going. We have more pictures. Cause I want to get to the, we don't, That's I it. will not. Jeez, are you serious? Well, there's only one more. No, there was four that I asked you to pull down. So listening ears, no. listening ears. Yeah, well, you show me where they're at then. There's this one, which I understand there's this, but people are talking about this little thing that's missing, right? There's five. And it's missing five. actually on both. So that kind of right. seals it for me that they're the same because it is missing on both pre and post picture. Right. I mean, I can go into Discord. We'll go through it all, but. No, no, well, that's okay. Okay. Um, so if anyone else wants to send, okay, so here's the crux of what I think is interesting about what happened. Um, also another search, I think Ben, but it may have been someone else said, yeah, I also got some additional ones that were sent after that night in discord. Now here's my question. We as searchers have been asking for the inside pictures of the treasure chest for months, right, Mike? Mm-hmm. I even tried to get you to use one of your sources. and I haven't, but yes, people have been. That's yeah, true. people have Other been. People. Yeah. Do you find it interesting that it was just dropped in the middle of the night? It was literally like 1230 in the middle of the night. Just boom, here's the pictures that everyone's been asking for for four months. Uh, the way this community is, no, I don't, but that's just me. Do you find it interesting that a documentarian dropped it and not one of our actual sources? Not really. No, the question is why won't the sources drop it, right? Why won't the people who why own- were why wouldn't the sources drop it? Why right. were did the sources give to a documentarian to give to us in the middle of Discord in the middle of the night? It just is there something there? Maybe it's totally innocent. Uh, the documentarian, you guys all know because 30 of you are in there. Jens is a part of the community. So I know he's a little different because he's not like like the professional documentarians that kind of stay one step removed. I was questioning, like, was this supposed to be dropped at this time to create a storyline, stop a storyline? I don't know. Is there a there there or was it just random? Like we asked Jens, like, okay, you just dropped these. They're obviously ones that you have special access to because you're a documentarian. Who did you get them from? And he said, I cannot say. Okay, well, then there's always mystery, right? Right, but you've done, you and Cynthia have done that for the last two years. We can't say. Here's the info, but we can't say where we got it from. Right, but right? A, do you see a documentarian is different? No, I don't. Okay. okay. Because it's going to come out in the documentary. So it's like, hey, but now why did he release it? Was he not supposed to? I mean, yeah, those are good valid questions. If you can't well, say why release it to begin with, I guess. Yeah. So Candy's saying, me thinks Jens might be working with all of Jar Guy. Ooh, yeah, all of Jar Guy. So, <laughs> yeah, because that might be the new outlet. Because if we've been working with the same people, maybe the access came from Jens getting it from all of Jar Guy. But why would the olive jar guy have pictures of the inside of the chest? Didn't he only buy the olive jar? Um, so back with Entity Gate, mm-hmm. John was the competing bit. So he would have saw the chest and been able to take his own pictures? From my understanding, yes. And John said it. This is not Christy. Right. This is not K-Pro-ish stuff. John said on Discord when he bought the jar, um, he had previous to March, um, he had also posted that it was at Heritage um, and he was the person competing against um, LLC um, in relation to the chess. So he's the one that said, you would think if you are bidding on it, you would have to inspect it. So that's my, that's actually. But would they allow him to good. take pictures? In other words, when Dan Barbarisi was there for his book, do you think they would have allowed him to take pictures? Maybe for the book, I guess maybe. But John wasn't there to report on anything. He was there to buy it. I just wonder if they would have allowed him to take his own pictures. I don't know the answer. That's a great question. I don't know. Maybe somebody could know. ask him. Because if he says no, well, then that means it came from somebody else. And I guess yeah. it would be interesting. If you guys are worried about where it came from, which, you know. Um, now, well, just- and I'm not as worried about that as 
is there, is there some intentionality behind like when when Jack dropped that's only half the story well we kind of figured out the rest of the story of Puerto Rico and him finding it so earlier on and all of that um be, before that so um yeah David Paisano said, does anyone want to sell their map of Nine Mile Hole that was part of the Shiloh map sale? If you mean the maps that were on eBay, did we have a Nine Mile Hole map? I don't know. No, we didn't. If you're talking about those, there was not a Yellowstone map in that, right. that collection. Right. Um, Vista Home says, is the lettering the same as we use today here in the USA or the type of lettering that was used in the 16th century in Europe? So just to be clear, we do know that Forrest put the letters on it. That's how Forrest cataloged things. So he wrote those on the chest. I mean, that's confirmed, right? We just proved it by the other piece that. I think that thing. would be my guess. That seems yeah. to be his writing. I have, right. you know, we have writing samples from doodles and that sort of thing. So and I'm having one heck of a time with this glare seeing the and chat. Then Candy says if the story was meant to come with the olive jar, maybe the private photos also were associated with the purchase of the olive jar. Seems to me it would have to be stated in the auction on the website, though. You got to know what you're buying. I yeah, I wouldn't think the olive jar and the chest pictures are related at all. Um, it could be the same person like Jens is working with John potentially, but it doesn't, I don't take it from that piece. I don't know. Right. I would think though, if I was going to be buying for a million dollars, I would want to inspect it, be able to take pictures, be able to get it back to my experts, especially yeah. if there's discrepancies, like we've heard from underneath the chest by others, um, ish that this, um, underneath does not match. I don't know. Or. Or the person who posted those pics knows who owns the chest and let them take pictures. I don't know why that's such a crazy idea. And if that's well, what happened, the only well, reason it's a crazy him. idea is I knew there was a falling out between them. So I don't think they were speaking at the time. Or is there? Yeah. I yeah. Got, everybody can always that. make up, but at the time, and those look like, um, those look like pictures from Tom Nasco's office from what we could see underneath. So that was the only reason, like, cause you have to put it that the pictures either had to come from Shiloh that we asked, Justin, that was asked. And you're saying Shiloh and Justin said no to Correct. you or to whoever asked? To different people throughout the okay. community. I am, okay. Cynthia was asked no. So that narrows it down to, did a new person come in and want to shake things up like John? I think Candy might be onto some. I don't know. This is to right. total speculation until we know more. But I just find it interesting that we're going to go into this in a second of who are we waiting on information from um, on day 1010 isn't it interesting that we're now not getting it from sources, we're getting it from documentarians through sources that cannot be named, which I just find fascinating. Gotcha. I don't know what to make of it. I just find it fascinating. Right. Day 1010? Day 1010. Wow. Day 1010. It just puts it into perspective on how long it's been. All right, so I'm looking for those other pictures, which you claim were there. Yeah, they were there. You said to search on what? If you or text me, if you don't want to say it. Uh, no, just go to the Speakeasy channel and put in. Oh, yes. well, in the wrong, that would help. Yeah. yeah, Speakeasy text channel and go to yes. So we'll see. And there's a couple other things we're going to talk about, right? Yes, that's what we're talking about next. It's not the same chest. They can't be dragging it out. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's what I wanted to get up so you guys can see. That's why I was hoping all the pictures were there. And there's more secret pictures with an insider. I think it was Ben that told me. Jens also sh gave me a couple more. And that's fascinating to me that we have a documentarian leaking stuff to certain people, but not to others. So super fascinating to me. Doesn't mean it's fascinating to you guys. I just. Right. Yeah. Like when we worked with um, Netflix at the time, when we talked really early on with Netflix, the Netflix producer was very clear. I don't talk. I'm not going to talk with you guys about what the other people are doing. I don't get involved at that level because it's not appropriate for, for a professional documentarian to do that. Then we have that's one end of the spectrum. And then we have on the other end of the spectrum secret info being dropped, can't source it, I got it, that kind of thing. And it's just interesting, the spectrum. I don't know the professional norms and protocols of documentarians. Okay, I'm having a hard, hard time reading chat, guys. Me thinks it is sus that Cynthia asked LLC guys certain questions that might prove the validity of there being another chest, yet he wouldn't reply. Sounds like Shiloh-ish to me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But at like, least Cynthia is a searcher. Like if it went to a documentarian and it's leaking, I would think 
he wouldn't leak official source data without permission. So let's play this through. Jens is a professional documentarian. He wouldn't drop it without it being okay. So that means somebody dropped it through Jens for what reason? That's what I don't get. I'm still trying to figure to out. To make like, you stop it, trying to find out the truth. That's why. I guess. No. Um, Maybe not. Didn't John say that his offer was for more money, but not, not even entertained? So how could he have pictures? Oh, no, it was entertained. Um, from what I understand, at the end of the day, this is rumor-ish for those of you that need that, um, that he was an existing offer and it went back and forth and it went sideways for a little bit. You saw that um, Justin and Amy went silent for a little bit. He went on that one, I'm not entity thing and then disappeared. And it took him a long time to re-engage because he had a counter offer. Um, at the end of the day, I heard they went with the lesser offer, which was uh, LLC. And okay. And I mean, now Galaxy is asking, but why does Ben get the privilege if there's more to find out? Ben seems to think there's two chests as well. You would have to ask Jens that question. I don't know why he would share with one person over another or why he would <laughs> share in Discord and not Thor or Facebook or his own YouTube. I don't I don't even pretend to understand all of these things. Ben uh, just joined. So I didn't realize we were live. Well, it's Monday at six, although I guess we haven't been doing every Monday at six. That's true. Uh, but my question is for all you conspiracy theorists, if there was a second chest, why wouldn't Forrest have told us? In other words, what was the purpose? He says, I wrote a poem, you know, leads at the end of my rainbow and all that. Why would, well, if there okay. was a second one, I think he would have told us. Or, well, know. I'm not going to say I believe this, but I'm going yeah. to try to repeat it and put ish. And this is how I understand it. My opinion of some in the community believe that Forrest, because we know he made a second chest. Ha only half of the jewels were in there, that part of this is figuring out that there is a second chest to be had and only the true treasure hunters are going to discover mm. that. And yeah. also you add in, you have Shiloh saying there is fun and epicness to come. When you think of the word epicness, some have guessed that means that there's something that's going to continue on for his legacy. Some people think his epicness is writing his book about his perspective on the chase. Some have said, that's not epicness. Some people have said, yes, it is. And then everywhere in between. So. I got gotcha. you. I'm glad to hear that Netflix doc is being done by professional. Yeah, or K-Pro saying, I think they've been professional all along. I have heard some things in the storyline that I'd be disappointed if they go certain directions, but I know the scandalous stuff sells. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that um, goes. I'm still wanting to know who is the one in disguise as you like it as based on playing certain characters to see the true intention of those playing the game. I think different people have different games. This is just my opinion or different goals. Some people just want the story out and closure for all. Some people want the fame of a documentary, et cetera. Some people wanted that story to just be theirs because of their own journey. I think different people have different motives. I'm going to say motives is a, is a better example. Some people just wanted the gold. Yeah, like, like Mike, that. he just wants to move on. But some people um, want more well, than that, want an explanation. They want, you know. It's not so much move on. There are other things to move on to. But yeah, it's it's okay to talk about this stuff. I mean, I'm not like, darn it, we're still day 1010 and we're still talking about it. It's fine. We've made so many friends through it all. People don't want it to end. So I yeah. get it. Yeah. Why hasn't anyone tried to find the breadcrumbs in relation to JCB Olive Jar guy? He has voiced, he was an obsessed searcher, so there should be breadcrumbs to follow. Well, do you know what he posted under on Dale's blog or Hint of Riches or anything of that? Anything like that? I have not looked <laughs> into that. Oh. I will tell you after um, Rudy, I'm going to give you some props here. Um, we did have to, there were some blurry lines when we got into the Jack stuff. Um, I didn't ever see the raw ping data, but I listened to it. The Puerto Rico stuff, we saw government documents, et cetera. It did feel a little bit too much. Um, in my opinion, um, I, I always think there's somebody that's going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. So um, why hasn't anyone, Candy, I just don't think they're maybe being as public if they are. Oh, um, okay. But I, like, I know somebody that showed up at, at his home the day after it, he was said he bought the olive jar. They were in front of his <laughs> home. He had a gated community and the person called me and said, what do I do? I want to try to get in. And I said, are you nuts? Get out of there. That's not what you do. And we, but so I 
think this community, uh, I know this community enough. I think they are doing those things. That's, but even yeah. if he was an obsessed searcher, I mean, why does that matter? He bought, he just wanted to buy the chest, but all he did bought was the olive jar. I don't understand why you have to know how, where he looked or, you know. Yeah. I don't think it would mean. That. Yeah. Yeah. We anyway, don't. Quite, I know yeah. You all have opinions on it. Milan says the chest was not the trove. I, why is it I have to go and leave my trove for all to seek? I mean, right. like, okay, maybe. I just think that goes against what Forrest. But wait, do you remember what I asked Forrest in the no November 19 interview? What? When, when the person finds it, they own that chest and everything in it, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what his answer was? No. I said in my poem, they own the gold. Oh, I see. So only the gold and all the gems are missing? Why would he answer that way? I don't know. No, can yeah. somebody prove... Well, did Forrest ever say there were gold, there was gems other than the dragon bracelet? Um, Jack mentioned it, or he, this is what he said. He mentioned in the book, um, because Forrest mentioned in the book, where's the emerald ring and where's yeah. the other gold frog? And he gave him the gold frog, but the emerald ring is missing. But right. Cynthia has been very clear that it is with the family and Forrest just. But were there supposed to be gems or other oh, than the God. emerald ring? Yeah. yeah do, where is do, that posted? Yeah. Do you remember the picture that Dale, I had to get written permission to use of the open treasure chest and it had the watches and the right. jewels and right. all that? But that was before he hit it. Things that were was, taken out, right? Right. So all okay. of the jewels were taken out, but one. Mm -hmm. So why? Yeah. Okay. That's a valid question. Yeah. Of why? Why did they pull them all out? Yeah. Or did somebody take it and then just leave the rest? But why would you do that? I mean, no title to the jar. <laughs> That's true. That's the copyright. You don't have title to the jar. You only have title to the gold. Is that what you're saying? USA soccer. It's actually a good point. Um, yeah. maybe that's why I use the word gold and not everything in the treasure chest. You don't have title because of the oh, we had this whole debate though. Like, so when Zoe wrote an affidavit that said, we have no ownership of anything in this chest, does that mean the olive jar copyright was given up at that, at, with that statement? I yeah. don't know. But it does seem like we do have a new player in this, or we have some information that's broken loose. Could it be John that is breaking this loose? I don't know. I, I just think it's interesting that new information was dropped the way it was. Is that our new way? And that is very unique. Usually, like, I could see trailers, information being broke, but, like, middle of the night Discord with 25 people and here's some pictures and someone secretly to others. That's super fast. It's fascinating from a just watching this play out standpoint. Uh, okay. Craig Carter says, because he added the dragon bracelet with hundreds of gems. So he's kind of saying he took out one and added. Then the why other. would, if Forrest knew, this is my question. If for, do you know which picture I'm talking about with all the jewels? Yeah, in I, do. I do. Watches? Yes, I do remember that. When you look at that, do you think that sets some expectations of kind of what the chest will look like when you open it? Yes. Yeah. And it do you was believe a big that that pic <laughs> Right. Do you believe that picture and what Jack actually found were very, very no. similar, kind of similar or not really similar? They weren't similar at all. But part of the problem is it was all polished and shiny in the picture. But after being out there for 10 years, it was all dull plastic bags. Yeah, it didn't match. I get it. Yeah. So, so I mean, P.T. Barnum was not the same of that. I thought this is what I was going to find. And Forrest was like, no, I changed it. This is what you got, uh, you yeah. know. Um, Candy says, if we can find out his boots on the ground information, it might fill in the blanks in regards to what he plans to do with the olive jar moving forward. For me, I don't see how those two relate. I don't yeah, know. I don't, yeah. I don't know how they relate. But he, she says but yeah. she's not talking about doxing. She's talking right, about right. Yeah. Then we get that, Candy. We understand. Um, Huli says, John gave us a year time frame. Let's respect it. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go to that. So um, Huli started, we started a, a post on Facebook of like, who are we waiting on now that we know we've had a hundred, no, a thousand and ten days to wait. Who are we waiting on and what are we waiting on? So John is on your list. So keep track of your list of who we've talked about and who we have. So we have John, the olive jar owner. He has said, give him a year. And he has said, he's not a documentarian or he's not a producer. I'm going to believe him. So I think he's working with one of the doc teams. So I think he needs a year because he's getting a documentary uh, partnership together or exclusive so, together. So he's not going to put it out himself. He's going to have somebody working on a doc do right. it for him. Or right. for and he came out maybe right before world series of fen and said to copper dan like yes i've gotten the okay legally kind of he didn't say it this way but like i don't care what shiloh says um but he did say he's he's gotten legal okay he's moving mm -hmm. forward now for the only reason for him to say he's gotten the legal okay in my opinion would mean it's already opened he's just now 
documenting it and getting it released to whichever uh, it, documentarian he's going to be using. That's my that's my guess, total conjecture at this point. So that's one. So that's one person we're waiting on. We're waiting on all of our guy. He said he needed a year. That was from he bought it and got it in December. And so we're waiting until December of 2024. That's number one, right? Yes. Mike? Yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, yeah. Number two, yeah. we're waiting on the McCracken appeal to settle. It should have settled by now. It should have settled by February. It's now in March. So I'm thinking that it's going to be settling in the next month or it's going to be determined which way they're going. Either he gets a new trial or he gets it um, thrown out. So that's a second piece we're waiting on, right? Right. Okay. Next, we are waiting on LLC um, made some statements, I guess, in Discord and said, eventually when this is done, I'm going to be coming out and saying who I am. Because if you remember at the beginning, there was a little bit of shenanigans. He wasn't a searcher. I think it became obvious towards the end. I don't think he probably did it with malice, but I think he might want to explain his story. He may wait for Netflix, but he, we are waiting for that at this point. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's number three. So then number four, we are waiting on Shiloh and his epicness. He says there's epic and fun to come and a book. Uh, we, we just have a question mark there. We don't know the timeline. I mean, he told me it might take me 10 years. I'm doing this on my timeline. So we don't Obviously have a Obviously means World Series of Fen next year, but go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. That's um, number four. Who else are we waiting on? Who else LLC, is on your Netflix. LLC. Oh, Netflix. Okay. So Netflix has said, they haven't said it publicly. A rumor that I believe may be true in my opinion-ish for those of you that need that, um, it looks like they're filming now. Their, their completed timeline is going to be the end of this year. And then that goes to Netflix and it takes them about a year to get through all the languages and the approvals and all of that. So it's sometime mid to late 2024 is Netflix. And yeah, it's February, 2024. Well, no, what Jens has said is from February, I talked to him and he said from February, 2024, he has one year. And I said, or he said 12 months. And I said, okay, so you have a year. He's like, no, 12 months. He said it in such a weird way that I almost think it's written in a contract somewhere. I bet you he has a contract with someone. Cause yeah. I kept saying one year and 12 months means the same thing. And he's like, no, 12 months, not one year. And I always thought that was strange enough that there's more to it. But anyway, and then he says he has to shop it to the different, um, uh, festivals and things. So mm -hmm. we're talking Netflix and Yens, even though they're one independent, one's huge. It seems that they're on the same timeline. Hmm. Well, Craig Carter points out a very good point on that original picture. It's when you read Forrest comments posted along with that picture, he said it was an early picture he found on an old laptop while he was still trying to decide what to include. So, right. It wasn't what was an expectation of what was in the treasure chest. It was just at that time. And I agree. And maybe you could see it that way, but I would think you would say contents are nowhere near this then like, I don't know. I wouldn't have let that picture become the expectation because that was the money shot. That's what everybody put in their mind. Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So then, we, so we have all of our guy, Yentz, Netflix, Shiloh. Um, I already said court that. settlement. That's it. Court settlement. That's the five, right? Yes. So at this point, we're waiting on those five. And whoever John may be working with, like he's saying a year, does, did he already take into account whoever he's working with? Is that going to be longer? At this point, he has said November-ish, not exact dates. I know people are really upset that Heritage like delayed a month and a half and everyone lied and say you're wrong. Things happen. So we're just going to say ish, like within a month or two, either side of this, but it's just an ish at this point. <laughs> what if Yance is a double agent working to get interviews for people who won't talk to Netflix? Nice. There you go. He may be. He may be. So, yeah. John so, says, let's be patient. It's very admirable to spend 40K on an olive jar and then give it away, which it sounds like he's not going to charge people to. It sounds like, I mean, I don't know nothing set in stone. It sounds like he's just going to release what's in there, right? Yeah. Uh, Candy says, K Pro, is there anything else you can speak to in regards to Dale and his update about the mystery stanza meant to be found in the chest? This is really important. Yeah, I, that is interesting. Didn't Forrest actually say this? Forrest said, this is how I recall it. Um, yeah. and I may be a little off, so it's an ish. Um, he said if he was 
Dale asked him if I, if you die, what's going to happen? How are we going to know um, that? How are we going to know um, that the treasure chest was actually discovered? And the answer was, there's a poem that I wrote in there. I didn't hear it was a stanza. Right. I heard it was a, yeah. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, so he said, people there's a poem in there your mouth. No, and people <laughs> would um, know. And he said, well, can you tell me what the poem is? He said, you'll know that it came from me. And that's when Dale went to Jack and said, what's the other poem? I never heard stanza. I heard poem. And Jack said there wasn't anything in there. there the go. olive jar. But it would be interesting to see if there's any, any kind of poem in the olive jar when it's opened, right? Say it again. I'm sorry. Well, it could be in the olive jar. It'd be very interesting to see what is in that olive jar when it's open. Right. It could be in the olive jar. There was some discussion that it was actually the left lip of the, um, if you bring up the treasure chest picture, there's um, an extra Ziploc bag that's not accounted for. Oh, then, and Jeremy went back and forth that, yes, there is. No, there isn't. I don't know which way. It kind of gets muddled when it's in, um, you know, late night chat. So I don't know. I don't know where to land. Well, stands a poem. Uh, a stanza is a poem. I don't think that matters. I think it's just semantics, but. She, Candy yeah. saying you said stanza. Well, okay, I don't think it matters, but okay. Mm -hmm. it, what matters is nobody knows has seen that yet. So is it in the olive jar or was it taken out of the chest or was there one, not one there at all? That yeah. was the question. Yeah. So we're waiting on five different groups or, and, and I don't want to say entities, five different people. <laughs> Um, or groups of people. And um, two of them don't, well, LLC said they were going to come out when everything was finished with the auction. I don't know when that is officially done and if that's happening. Shiloh doesn't have a deadline. Everybody else has some sort of ballpark. I, we have a ballpark idea of what they've said, which is um, like Netflix mid to late next year. Um, Yen's mid to late next year. John has said November of this year, you know, there's our, but again, if it moves a little bit, I don't think we should pounce on them. Like some are being pounced on <laughs> if Hashtag things move by pouncing. Yeah. everybody. Okay. So, uh, there's that for day 1010. Um, yeah, I think we're waiting on the docs to come out. We're waiting on the olive jar to be open, which maybe it'll be in a doc, but maybe it'll be shared in discord. You never know <laughs> when it happens. You just never know. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, everybody just has their own little conspiracies, but. Uh, well, and somebody said, like, why are you even looking into anything anymore? Well, because what else do we have to do? We are waiting on um, Jens for another year ish, Netflix for another year ish. Um, John, less than a year. John's actually probably the, the shortest tent pole in the tent. Um, maybe we'll look, I mean, but if we find out officially who LLC is, like once he actually says it, we're going to say, thank you, Captain Obvious and move on. Um, but other than that, like, uh, I think the big ones are Shiloh, John, um, but here's something that came up in discord. Forrest said in the once upon a while, um, interview, my family doesn't even know that I put the olive jar in there and what's in it. So it might be interesting because John may have something that the family doesn't. I know Shiloh's not saying that, but we're hearing it in four stone words saying my family didn't even know I put the olive jar in there and what's in it. I got to go and actually find it. That could be cool. Mm. That could be interesting. So. There yeah. A lot of it comes down to the olive jar. A lot of people want answers. Maybe they're in the olive jar. Maybe they're not. We just have to wait and see what's in that bad boy. Yes. Yes. All right. So that Bro was has the, the keys to the castle and doesn't even know it. Oh, that's Jonesy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw her twins comment earlier. Jonesy. Right. Jonesy. Yeah. I think a lot of people have, and I'm still rooting for, I will say, like that there's some big story. Like is, the big question is, and Shiloh could like put this conspiracy to bed in a second. Um, but I think he's having too much epic fun. Um, is like, is it a DB Cooper? Is it an Omega Man? Is it something big or is it? Okay, Mike's seeing butterflies. We need to work on that this weekend. Go ahead. Yeah. Is it DB Cooper? Is it nothing at all except 
you got the gold. What else do you want from me? Let me alone. Yeah, like some. Ba- I know he knows a lot of the provenance behind the items because he, he said that him and his dad went to a lot of gun shows and things. And that's what Forrest said is a lot of the stuff came from gun shows and things. Is it that? Like when you say something as subjective as epicness, I think, and I think we, it would be interesting to know, but I don't think anything has come out. And You're talking about Shiloh? Yeah. Well, the problem is it's epic to Shiloh. <laughs> it might right. not be epic to us. Like you said, it's subjective. Just like he said, I think he said a book about his dad. Well, that's not going to be so much epic to me. I'm sure his dad's a cool person and maybe did a lot, but his dad's not Forrest. You know what I mean? So, right. Right. Yeah. And I think already maybe the mixed reviews of um, Shiloh coming in has had mixed reviews in the community, which has surprised me. I thought there'd be a lot more, a th- lot more positive, but yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't have a problem with Shiloh. Uh, oh, hey, yeah. with the 999 Super Chat says, does has ring a bell? Does H-A-A-S ring a bell? Oh, H-A-A-S doesn't ring a bell to me. Does it ring a bell to you? H No, I don't. No, no idea mm-hmm. what that is. Um, yeah. Everyone looks at words differently. That's true, Davio, especially you. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, we're still waiting for the lead searcher to find the chest. Sheriff Billy says that would be nice if that was what was going on. It would be awesome if there was something else to find, whether it's a bell or whether it's a chest. In other words, Forrest left behind something on how to find it directions. Well, the jars have the autobiographies in them, supposedly. And some people are hot on those trails right now. There's at least five or six. I mean, we just did this roll call. There was at least six searchers looking Two are active boots on the ground, trying to find a jar. All right. Yep. I hope so, they'll hope somebody finds one. Yeah, and then they'll know what's in the jar. But is it the same thing that's in the jar of the? <laughs> Obviously okay. not. The treasure chest jar has the poem in it, the extra poem. So I don't think those are in. The and book. a twenty dollar bill of DB Cooper. That's my theory. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh All right. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, I think that's it. Anybody else got anything else they want to talk about on this Monday night? After the time change, yeah, Ben said he thinks he got confused on the time change. It is six forty six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, everybody. It's still light out, so summer's coming. World Series of Fan. 70, 80 degrees right now. I'm chilling. (laughs) Oh, yeah, the Vegas Taylor Swift, so it is interesting. Um, If you guys don't know, here, let me show it real quick. You all right with that, K-Pro? Yep. Hijack the strip. Yeah. All right. So, there's these guys on YouTube called The Treasure Games. Check it out. Anybody that's, one, just likes puzzles, or anybody that's a Taylor Swift fan, uh treasure games on youtube they took taylor swift tickets and floor floor like good yeah for the concert here in vegas it's coming up in just like a couple weeks or two weeks uh one if you comment on the video they're giving away 10 ounces of 10 ounce bar of silver right there two they're going to give the search area of where these tickets are it's actually a proxy item. It's a box you find, and then you give it, tell him what's in the box, and they electronically give you the tickets. These guys are legit. They've been hiding treasure all around Utah for yeah, years. Yeah, we had them on, didn't we? We've had them on the show twice. Yeah. Um, so here it comes. There it is. Somewhere in Vegas. That's a pretty big area. Boulder City to Red Rock, all the way up here somewhere. But here's the puzzle. Check out the end. How, with these numbers, can they tell us where to find this proxy item? I mean, it's just not much to go on. These are the numbers. We hid Taylor Swift floor seat tickets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. First thing that comes to mind is a book cipher. Thank you to the person that reached out that said maybe you use this on a Taylor Swift song. But even if it forms a word, I mean, how do you find? It has to be a date. Wait, go back. In this whole area from this, that's the. Question. So it has to be a date because the highest number is thirty-one. So that's a month. It's a four thirty-one. So the first number is one through four. Month. Yeah. Second number could be day, but then what's day. the one? And then here's, there's a two and a three. I don't know. That's you're the cypher guy. <laughs> okay. There's just not much info to go on, but anyway, if anybody's got any ideas, this is hid in Vegas. As you can see me and K pro will go. I'm yep. not interested in going to see Taylor Swift. So you guys can have, you could t- sell the tickets for like 10 grand each. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I wonder if they have a cash. They probably don't have a cash value, but you could sell them to somebody else. But if anybody has ideas, reach out to me. We will do a Zoom tonight. I think somebody reached out and said, what about Xavier Marks? Let's just do a Zoom on whatever people want to talk about. We can talk about Taylor Swift tickets. We can talk about Xavier Marks. We can talk about whatever. So I'll start up a Zoom and send the invite out. Um, if you're not on my Zoom invite list, then uh, email me and I'll put you on it. 
So um, yeah, let me put the link to this video in the chat. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Uh, it will be interesting to see the solution, whether anybody finds it or not. It could be time points in a song. Yeah, so if there's an album, that's true. The first number. Because didn't be he number. say he didn't say shake it off? He said something like yeah, he that. said brush it off. He said if you brush can't it. find it, brush it off, get up, and like do something. So is that a clue to a Taylor Swift song? Shake it off. Yeah, but he didn't say shake it off. He said, well, brush it. if he said oh, it yeah. that bluntly, come on, shake it, brush it. So, yeah, that's interesting. It could be that so like an album. You have a list of songs. The first number is a song. Second number is maybe a word and then a letter. That's possible. Uh, it's a book yeah, cipher, remember, but for Taylor Swift. Wasn't that, there was a hunt that we did that. Oh, it, the Bob Ross puzzles used the Dr. Seuss book. It was a book cipher. Oh, no, that was irritating. It gave the New York as a state, for example. Yeah, that was bad. No, I didn't like that one at all. There is a line before 311 and there's only one duplicate set of numbers. Yeah. So let's do a zoom. And if nobody wants to work on this, let's, let's play around with it. Maybe we can all kick around some ideas and uh, album song word. Boom. Josie Josie's in the house. Album song word. It's possible. And then that's true. I was thinking a letter, How? but if there's words, it could, if there's 13 words, then it could tell you where to go look. So let's play around with that. Especially if you're a, Taylor Swift aficionado. I don't know her albums. I know like maybe two songs, but if you guys know, oh, you're taking the kids. You are. Guys are the oh kids. yeah, I definitely go look. If you guys know, can figure, no, no, out, no. figure out where to, it is. To Taylor Swift. Oh no, I don't. Okay. I don't think the kids will want to go see Taylor Swift. <laughs> that would be funny though. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, there it is, everybody. There are other treasures to be found. <laughs> look, what, look, look what Atlantic Coast said. It got censored. <laughs> I don't see it at all. It's gone. There it goes. No, it's there. I would rather I pee oh. in an electric dryer outlet than see Taylor Swift. Nice. Tell us how you really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Doug says there's a new clue. What? What? Did I miss a video? What? What? Oh, we did. There's a new video. All right. Hang on. Oh, my. We're going to watch it. I don't know if this is a copyright violation or not, but we're going to watch it together. Remember okay. guys, the treasure games on Instagram, the treasure games on YouTube, go subscribe. They give away a lot of stuff for free. Check it out. Here we go. If you're just now finding this is perfect timing. Our Taylor Swift floor seat ticket treasure hunt down in Vegas is a week underway. Nobody's found it yet. You've got until Saturday of this week Ooh. to find those tickets or we're forced to give them away so that somebody, whoever wins them has time to get down there. The chest will still be there. There'll still be a surprise in the chest for you but the tickets won't be after Saturday. They probably put silver in the chest, but okay, here we go. Five o'clock. Good luck. You need to be lightning on your feet on this one. You need to be lightning on your feet. Is lightning a, a Taylor Swift reference, clue, whatever? Uh -huh. Candy, join the Zoom, Candy. We can go, if you know Taylor Swift, let's talk about it. If I wind the Taylor Swift takes, they are gone, 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 Sam says. All right, the shape on the okay. map is interesting. Okay. Okay, I did not... Uh... Shake it off has the word lightning in it. I'm lightning on my feet. Then that's got to be it. Oh, it's a cipher who on the said song. shake it off? Wait, who said shake it off? All right, I'm going to do a Zoom. Everybody join in that wants to help. We're going to have to get the lyrics for shake I'm it off. On my feet. It. Okay. All right. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Well, I there's guess also it, a song I guess when called he said Perfect brush it lightning. off, he meant shake like, it off. I'm lightning on my feet is actually the, the lyrics. Right. To shake it off. Okay. Okay. I do want to say I want to make sure to give an invite because we're all friendly. We're all getting along. We talked about Jens. Jens didn't know that we were going to really focus on some of that tonight. I invite him on if he would like to have a discussion um, about um, him dropping the secret stuff. Um, but just in general, if he wants to, I know he's super active in the community. He's been in, God, he's been on lots of channels and lots of chats and lots of speakeasies, et cetera. Um, but I know that there's so many of you here that may, um, you know, have questions and things. I do want to extend that olive branch um, to make sure that he knows this was not um, attacking him at all. This was really, I am perplexed. And there's probably a really simple explanation because Mike's like the scan lines that might just have a totally simple explanation. <laughs> ah, that's true. Yeah. That's oh, you, we could be going boots on the ground tonight. Figure it out. Lightning on your feet. Shake it off. Brush it off. And you just kept discounting me. Hmm. Well, you didn't put in the work, April. You actually have to do it, figure it out. I watched the video and told you about it an hour ago, but somebody in chat had to tell you because you do not listen to me. No, no. Somebody in chat said there's a clue video. It's the clue video. I, oh my God, honey, honey I That's said that the, an hour ago. Okay. 
They dropped a new video. They said they're pulling it on Saturday. Watch it for clues. What? Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. <sighs> oh, look. Tito Brown made an appearance. Mrs. Kiki. Yent oh. is double A. Oh, if Rudy says it's confirmed, Rudy has said it is confirmed that Yent is a double agent. Oh, Rudy. Uh, the German government. He's going out on a limb. Love it. Love it. And it's confirmed with five exclamation marks. It's over. We figured it out. Yent is the double agent. Rudy said so. Yent, we can bring you on and tell us about what you think of Rudy's position. And Candy is the one that brought up about you working with John. I wonder. Let's have a panel. Rudy, Candy, and Yent. And have them talk this out. Tito Brown. Okay, go get because you guys are going to have to go. I, we're going boots on the ground tonight for Taylor Swift tickets. Yeah, if we can figure it out. Probably not in the dark, but yeah, maybe. All right. Do it. Number track is shake it off. Yeah, that's what we got to figure it out. So come on, join the Zoom and let's do it. Anybody see the Oscars? Elvis got snubbed, didn't even win nothing. Jamie Lee Curtis was pretty surprised, and uh, Angela Bassett was pissed. But anyway, that's Oscar news. That's a different show, K Pro. I know I watched three of the thing at the end and it was like everything, 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 everything everywhere, everywhere. all at once. I got to see this movie. It won like nine Oscars. They say it's I have to watch M H three seventy because if there's a documentary, they say that's what you should do. Don't F with cats. It's hard to watch, but it's no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll fast forward through that part. Yeah. It's, it is rough to watch, but it's a true uh-huh. story. And there was somebody here in Vegas that was, that was in it. They're in Vegas interviewing her. But anyway, all right. I went to dinner with Taylor Swift. Bill Gorman says, really? Well, there's a story. But that is so random. What? That's Except awesome. No comments, but I, Bill, um... that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, everybody. We're going to do a Zoom if you want to join. I got to eat dinner first, but I'll set up the Zoom for you guys. Yes. And we'll go boots on the ground. We'll Bye. see you next time. Maybe it's in Red Rock right next to where we found the other one. Oh, she left.